Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hello. Uh, cheese. Oh, the whole Swiss hole. My name's Ju, and today I'm at the Emmentaler Chalcaserai to show you how traditional Emmentaler cheese is made. Now I'm actually in the village of Affolton in Emmental, which is in a region just east of Bern. 80% of all Emmentaler production comes from this region, with 150 producers. And its name comes from here. There's the nearby river Emme and Tal, meaning valley in German. In the US, it's known as Swiss cheese. Emmentaler has iconic holes in it and it's also the world's largest cheese. Emmentaler AOP can only be the world's largest cheese. It's that just sounds strange. It's, it's like saying the world's largest milk milk. Or like the world's largest may be produced in these regions in Switzerland. It was granted AOP protection from the EU in 2002, meaning that these areas are the protected designation of origin. But there are a few qualifications for this. The milk has to be from dairy farms no fewer than 20 kilometers away, and it must be produced using raw milk. Every single cheese starts or has this process, the... the the cutting machine. 17,700 tons of Emmentaler are produced each year in this region by 150 family dairies. Cheese production started in this area over 200 years ago. It's a hilly region, so good for cattle grazing. The Emmentaler Chalcaserai show dairy was opened in 1989. The process of cheese starts at the farmer, so uh, we need a high quality raw milk. Then we heat up the milk on 32 degrees. We put inside uh, the bacteria, the rennet. We have to wait because the rennet make a relationship between the fat and the protein. You are cutting the curds down to a size of four up to six millimeters. And then you heating up another time to 53 degrees. You're pumping up to the forms Celsius. and then you're pressing that for 12 hours. The cheese is pressed under hydraulic pressure for up to 12 hours. It then spends eight weeks in the warm fermentation cellar at 22 degrees Celsius. It then goes into a storage cellar for up to two months before it's collected by the wholesaler. This makes a famous sweet taste and smooth texture of the cheese. The world famous holes, they're created by a reaction in the bacteria. After one month of storage, a strain of bacteria, Propionibacterium shermani, consumes lactic acid and releases carbon dioxide. These bubbles it become farts. trapped in the cheese rind and form holes, also known as eyes. But why are the cheeses so large? Yeah. The size of Emmentaler wheels is heavily regulated, as most have a diameter of 80 to 100 centimetres. They need to be a minimum of 75 kilograms. The cheese produced why? here, a kilogram costs 19 Swiss francs, or $19. So one wheel could cost over $1,900. That's a lot of cheese. We have to pay taxes also in Switzerland. And 200 years ago, they have the reglementation that you have to pay the taxes on a piece and not on kilogram. So they 
make a big cheese wheel and they have to pay only once the taxes and oh, okay. still 200 years we're producing this uh, at minimum 75 kilograms Smart. wheels. The cheese is matured into a four-month classic, eight-month reserve, 12-month AOP extra and the 24-month Loire d'Emmental. The taste of, of the Emmental AOP uh, it's so I I didn't know they were they were putting in those black little uh, number things on the cheese that unique. I mean, compared to, of the Emmental AOP, uh, it's unique. I mean, compared to um, Kopis, it's comparing if you take a, a red wine and a good red wine. We visited the Chalcazarai restaurant to try the cheese. Ooh, I like that one. By restaurant to try the cheese. That one. Cheese. And we go for the classic. It's four month age. What you can see is the springy kind of rubbery texture to it. Uh, let's give this a try. Mm. It's so much more flavoursome than other Emmentaler that I've had. It has a really full flavour to it because it's made with raw milk, not pasteurised milk that you might get in the States. Uh, it's just a very, very kind of full, rich, milky flavor. Raw milk, pasteurized milk, letting it sit for certain amounts of time, getting the milk from a goat or a sheep or a cow. It's just there are so many different kinds of cheeses that have distinct tastes, and yet they... they and yet they, they all are so similarly made. And that, that just blows my mind. The, uh, it's very tasty. But how does this differ to the 12 month aged? It's a lot less kind of springy and bouncy to the touch, um, but that rich nutty flavor is really yeah. starting to come Parmesan. through. This room downstairs when we went into here in the dairy was the room that it's the minute you walk in, there's a beautiful nutty aroma that hits you. And that is exactly what you can get in the cheese now. It's gone from sort of like a fruity, mild cheese to something which is, has, you know, this texture to it and it's very nutty. To be an authentic Emmentaler cheese, it needs to have the Emmentaler logo and a bespoke cheese number. On the rind, we put uh, our brand on top before we press the cheese and this is something like a tea bag and this is growing directly into the rind. So if you are cutting the cheese wheel into pieces, um, on each rind you should find um, a part of this Emmentaler Switzerland logo and you find also a little number on top. And with this number our customers can go on our website emmentaler.ch and give this number inside um, database. And Google Maps shows you where this product was produced in which dairy. And the dairies need to have this protection. Emmentaler is the world's most copied cheese. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. I don't doubt that at all. It's just the, the holes in the cheese are so recognizable. And so people who don't know cheese very well myself included, uh, if, if you see holes, you're gonna be like, oh, Swiss cheese. So 95% of that, what is uh, sold as a Swiss cheese or a cheese with holes uh, called Emmental, are fake Emmentaler. So the Emmentaler Switzerland, um, the brand is protected by the AOP label. And we have also a bacteria inside our cheese. We are the only brand, cheese brand, who are using this one. And so we can um, not only look on the package if it's original Emmentaler AOP, um, we can also analyze this this product and so these are our activities and the brand um guys to me i i know that a lot of people they they you know you want the real thing and it's part of the experience but to me if the teas chase if the if the teas chase good if the cheese tastes good uh then then i like it i'm not gonna be like mm, this is delicious wait a second where's the logo you know what i mean i i'm not saying obviously it says we have it's like oh i'm drinking champagne well did 
was that champagne made and bottled in the Champagne Champagne region of France or whatever? Oh well, then it's not champagne. It's like, uh, oh well, I don't care. <laughs> people who are working only for searching the region between the copies so it's a big um, work behind here yeah. no, i'm not saying i, I don't like I, I like nice things sometimes it can add to the experience knowing oh this is a real oh i get it cool um I'm still not feeling great from last night, but uh, getting better. Probably going to be a bit slow today. It's Saturday anyway. I can take a day off or tomorrow. Bye, guys.